Just coming into Pancake Beach and a little tip here is to come in a little bit further west of the beach uh, because there's a large sandbar at the beach itself and that way if you come down a little bit further away from the creek mouth you've got a much lesser distance to drag your tender back into the deep water if the tide's out. Here's my fishing rod in my hand. Here we are, probably halfway mark up to Busted Head Lighthouse. This is Aircraft Beach. Beautiful looking view today. So we pan around and here we come to out of Africa, Steph in her zebra kind of print with the fishing rod. Ready to go fishing. Okay. <laughs> she'll this right? she'll blend in. Today. If only she was in Africa. Here we are, Steph is in front of Busted Head Lighthouse. <laughs> What's your uh, size? to be young again. what you got I'm ready it's got to be better than my grinner tonight, oh we feast. don't feast <laughs> tonight we don't feast good job well done Andre wow look at that amazing they do grow really big do they yeah so I'll put this one back Listen to him grunting. Oh, oh! Don't hurt him. Ooh. Okay. Good job, Buzz. But theoretically, I caught the first fish, right? Theoretically, you did. Even though it was just a grinner. Yep. But winners are grinners, right? 
Okay, so here we are at Pancake Creek. There's Baz over there fishing. Just wanted to share a little bit more about Baz and I. This is episode three of our YouTube and yeah, we're still learning and we're actually really bad at it, but it's okay, we're giving it a go. So we're inspired by our friends back home, Kimmy, my coffee mate, and her hubby, Andy, who's Baz's fishing mate. Um, yeah, they just said to us, share your journey with us, you know, when you're away, we wanna see what you're doing. So, and we do watch a lot of YouTubes at home, been watching them for a long time because we've been planning on this trip for a while. Did this trip last year and it was fantastic. Had a lot of mistakes, a lot of um, hard times and challenging moments, but we got through and here we are to do it again. So this time's better because um, we're going a lot slower and a lot more at our pace. We don't, we're not in a hurry to get anywhere this time. So, which is really important when you're boating. It's just all about just going with the weather when the weather's right. So, Baz back home is an industrial chemist, very, very clever man, as you've probably worked out already. Um, and I'm the Tooth Fairy. So my kids know me as Tooth Fairy Steph. I work at Tooth Fairy & Co in Thornlands and Ormiston. We have an amazing team of dentists there and a great practice. Um, I make dentistry different for kids by dressing up as a Tooth Fairy. Hence um, my weird glasses that you can see sometimes and weird outfits that I might have, but that's okay because I do it for kids and I love it and it's fun. And yeah, life's meant to be fun, right? In full flight. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's full. Tonight we don't feast. No. <laughs> Mind you, if we get another 20 or 30, we could eat. Alrighty. Mighty fly rider coming. We have one. Oh, not sure what it is just yet. Got him, man? Yeah. Not much to eat, but good fun to catch. On the fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to get him on the fly. Oh, poor little thing. Let him go. There you go. Not much to eat off that one. I am not having any luck with this fishing gig. So, like my mum said, it's not your cup of tea. Beautiful spot, oh. having fun all the same. Oh, yeah. Yay! No Baz is doing a great job over there though. Caught a trevally and a queenie. So, still nothing to eat yet though. Luckily, we've got plenty of rice and <laughs> cheese. Here's the view from the top of Busted Head Lighthouse. It is a stunning view out over the ocean, right around over the next inlet of Jenny Lynn Creek, and then back around into Pancake Creek. The lighthouse was built in around 1868, uh, and it was automated back in around, I think, 1986. And then after that, some vandals got in and, and destroyed it. 
and then um, some volunteers got together and resurrected it. Big red. It's cute. <laughs> He's going to come home with us. How cool is this? <laughs> Just coming back from Busted Head Lighthouse. It's, uh, I think it's, is it 5k? No, 1.5k back, isn't it? It's to the round trip. Right, well, we've been there and over to the inlet on the other side. And yeah. yes, we caught plenty of fish, but not the target species, which was flathead for dinner. So we did have a flathead on, but only very briefly, but got some nice queen fish. Yeah, we did. Uh, what I've else did we? Spotted cod. Spotted cod. Uh, we got brim, we got finger mark brim. Mm. We got trevelli. Okay, we saw lots of stingrays. Lots and lots of stingrays and yeah. a lot of turtles, a lot of very small turtles. Mm -hmm. So they, they were really cool. Yeah, it was really, really good. Really good. Enjoyed every bit of it. Awesome day out. Yeah. Might do it again tomorrow. Definitely put Pancake Creek on your bucket list. 100%. So, here well, we are. Here we are, Pancake Creek. Stranded. <laughs> well, <laughs> supposed to be high tide at four. There's our boat. <laughs> Bob's waiting for us on the boat. <laughs> it's supposed to be high tide at four. It's yeah. now five. five. <laughs> yeah. You see the tide's a little bit longer here. Mm. Don't mind you, the entrance There's is the just there. Yeah. Mm. But we did come in close. So we didn't have a big sandbar like the way over there. That's right. So we've Look only got this little bit. So we just don't want to drag the boat too far because it's too heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Okay. Mm, caught a lot of fish. Caught but lots of fish. None for dinner. No. But that's okay. But and Baz got some prickly. What was it? The prickly fruit. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't handle prickly pear fruit because even that's prickly. <laughs> so just lucky we had our first aid kit on the boat with us too. We do. We keep, on we our keep tender. a spare first aid kit on the tender mm -hmm. in a sealed glad bag, yep. a Ziploc bag, so it's always handy. Good and note. a magnifying glass and tweezers to get out the really fine yep, splinters. So. so that was good. I've been doing Dr. Steph right now, so easy. Yeah, All right, so we're just going to sit here and have <laughs> <laughs> sunset drinks. Yeah. With no We've got drink. water yeah. and nuts, and that's all. <laughs> It'll be oh, well. soon. Soon, Bob's out there waving to us. Hi, Bob. Cheers. Cheers. This is Brad's sunset tours. Cheers. Brad's sunset tours. That's for another episode. But look what we've seen. They're stumps. Over Baz thought it was kangaroos on the beach, but they are stumps. <laughs> well done. Yeah. That's compliments of Brad's two. a bit of a spec saver <laughs> moment. <laughs> so we're going for a fish right now, and we're going to catch a big fish for dinner. Cheers to that. Stay tuned. Here's Bob on the boat, struggling, doing it tough, hey Baz? Yeah, it's just checking out the next anchorage. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? <laughs> so, I'm going to show you this morning what we have for breakfast on a boat. This is our green smoothie bowl, which we love on a boat. Even after we go for a walk, we have a green smoothie bowl. So here it is, our baby spinach. Just going to use a handful of spinach. Nothing's by measurement here. A little bit more. We love our green leafy spinach, and when it goes, we're very sad. It goes very quickly on the boat. So we have a banana. It goes in. There goes a chair. One. Chair blown over in the background. It's pretty windy here today. That's very, why we're waiting in very, Pancake very Creek. Yep. We have cardamom pots, and we use about three of those. Very nice. They add a really good flavour, don't they, Baz? Sure do. 
bit strong though, so Baz doesn't like too many. And then we add a little bit of water that Baz made this morning from Freshly the, made. Yes. From a water maker. Water maker. Good job, Baz. And then we've got an avocado that goes in as well. So these green smoothie bowls are awesome for the boat. Nice avocado too. So this is brekkie on the boat while we have spinach and bananas. And just some ice as well makes it nice and cold and then good to go okay so this is our finished product of our green smoothie bowl beautiful look at that nice texture lovely and then we just garnish that with yogurt and cinnamon and some berries on the top so little raspberries would be lovely and cinnamon Got my fishing rod ready to go again. This fishing thing is becoming really normal for us now. Got to catch something though. Okay, so this is Aircraft Beach, aptly named because this is where the aircrafts landed in the 80s. And down there, there used to be a resort which no longer exists, sadly. But yeah, we're going to pick this spot today to fish so here we are on aircraft beach and Baz is fishing again um, I'm attempting to fish as well but really want to share this tip with you today is these amazing shoes that I'm wearing they are called Aliada or Alida not sure how it's pronounced A-L-E-A-D-E-R they are lightweight fast drying, most amazing shoes for walking on the boat or on the beach, hiking, anywhere. Must have for every woman or every fisher person hiking. They're really, really good shoes. So 10 out of 10 from me. So A-L-E-A-D-E-R, Aliada or Alida. Just have a look at their website. Great shoes. Um, yeah. Is it cold? <laughs> Do you think there's anything out there, babe? Yeah, I had a bump just before. Whoever it was came and chased it. Gorgeous. So calm here. Amazing. Jesus, really? Well, I'm not bloody staying in here. <laughs> Videographers leaving the beach. <laughs> very, oh, right at the very top end of Aircraft Beach. Just sort of going around some of the rocks. You can see it there. Beautiful spot. Through boat. How's the fishing going? Uh, well, there's fish there. Well, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. Had just... one little bump at the fly, but that was it. Yeah. No well. There's plenty of fish there. It's raised a big school of mullet there, and I think there's a couple of little sharks I saw scooped off. Nice. Yes. Yeah, only a little. <laughs> hey, big shout out to the Tooth Friend Co team. I've got my bucket hat on being sun safe today. Go, Tooth Friend Co. A place for the whole family to go. <laughs> Date night. Date night. Friday night is date night. Friday night, date night. So we're dressed up. <laughs> See, you can still yeah. be romantic and have and, a lovely... And, and we've got our dress shoes on. Dress shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. Found our own little track after our fishing. And um, here we are. It's date night. Bob. Just, just the three of us. Bob's joining us. Just the three of us. So, Cheers. cheers.
Cheers to Friday Happy night. Friday night. Date night. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Just doing something nice and easy. Fettuccine with a mushroom, creamy mushroom sauce. Because we need to start using up the veggies. Uh, mushrooms don't last that long. So we're just a bit of onion, a bit of mushroom, uh, garlic in uh, UHT cream. Just let that simmer and put that over the, the fettuccine. Done. And blue cheese is our fave. Yeah, a bit of blue cheese in the sauce. Yum. There we go, add in the cream. Okay. It's good because the packages flatten right down, so it keeps our rubbish to a minimum. And with the UHT milk while we're at it, I fill them up with water and freeze them, and then we can use them in the esky. And if we're desperate and we're out fishing, we can drink it. Date night. Date night. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you are the Amazing. Beautiful. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so while Baz is putting in some waypoints for our fishing trip today, we're heading off to Lady Musgrove today, um, I'm just going to say a little bit about our date night. So we had our amazing mushroom fettuccine carbonara, which was cooked by Baz, a beautiful dinner. Then we did some singing and some dancing and watched a beautiful movie with Brad Pitt, Benjamin Button, where he gets younger as the years go on. And like my Barry Button, who's 38 forever. Thanks guys for watching us on Let the Ropes Go. Um, like us, subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned. Bye.